Roads come in all shapes and sizes, but some of these roads are so dangerous that there's even barely enough space for two vehicles to pass by simultaneously. Today we will be taking a look at some of the most dangerous roads in the world. But before we start, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video. So without further ado, fasten your seatbelts and let the countdown begin. Taroko Gorge Road Narrow blind corners, rock falls, landslides, flooding and earthquakes similar to the Guo Liang Tunnel Road. Taoko Gorge Road is carved out of and through the mountains. Due to the spectacular beauty of its surroundings, the road is well frequented in spite of its fearsome reputation. This means a slew of tour buses, cars, scooters, bicyclists, and pedestrians are all vying for space on the same narrow road. A frightening prospect, considering the number of blind turns and extremely narrow bends on the road. The road is also very hard to keep in good condition, as heavy rainfall and typhoons often cause landslides and rock slides that leave sections of the road impassable. While many who have visited say that it is well worth the danger, this is not a road for the faint of heart. Bend Road to Heaven Sheer Drops and Hairpin Turns It comes as no surprise that the country that brought us the young Jeezy Grand Canyon glass bridge and the rickety wooden walkways of the Hua Shan also has its share of dangerous roads. Located in Tianmen Mountain National Park in central China, the 99 Bend Road to Heaven features 99 death-defying hairpin turns, constructed hundreds of feet in the air. If you went off the road in such places, you'd surely die in a fiery crash. In bad weather, with the ever-looming possibility of an earthquake, the road is incredibly treacherous. How many hapless folks have died while constructing this highway in the sky? Karakoram Highway, Pakistan Landslides, falling, rocks, floods, avalanches, cliffs, and more. Built as high as 15,000 feet above sea level and under very rough conditions, Karakoram Highway is sometimes considered the eighth wonder of the world. Construction on the road began in 1966 and was completed in 1979. Although it wasn't open to the public until 1986, this dangerous road covers more than 1,300 kilometers and at least in some places follows the old Silk Road. Cutting through the most mountainous regions in the world, the Karakoram Highway is beset with hazards, rock falls, landslides, avalanches, flooding, snowdrifts, reckless drivers, herds of animals, precipitous cliffs, and terrible storms. Interestingly, the road meanders through the Huns of Valley, the scene of James Hilton's Lost Horizon, a novel about the mythical Shangri-La, a harmonious place where people live for centuries. Skipper's Canyon Road Formed in the gorge made by the Shotover River, this canyon road was used in the gold rush during the middle 19th century in Queenstown, New Zealand. The Shotover was the richest gold-bearing river in the region and was named after the very first settlers in the region. The road is extremely dangerous and has a huge warning sign at the start, which clearly states no exit and no turning for six kilometers. The road is slippery, narrow, and steep, and the drops are several hundred meters. North Youngest Road The Road of Death landslides, rock falls, fog, cliffs, narrow, and no guardrails. If you don't want to travel on a road nicknamed the Road of Death, stay away from this one. Leading from La Paz to Kuroiko, the Road of Death is almost 50 miles of one-lane road, featuring vertical drops as much as 3,000 feet into the Amazon rainforest below. Astonishingly, the road has over 200 hairpin turns. Up until 1994, nearly 300 travelers died on the road every year, Numerous makeshift memorials can be seen in places where hapless folks have plunged over precipices and gone crashing down into the jungle ravines below. Fortunately, the worst part of the road has now been bypassed by a two-lane paved road. So, vehicle traffic on the road has diminished, but cyclists still challenge the road of death, some dying in the process. Incidentally, the south youngest road, Cocobamba, is considered almost as dangerous. Stelvio Pass No. This is not some video game roadmap you need to cross. It's an actual mountainous road. It's the highest paved road in the Eastern Alps. It's located in Italy, between Steffs Stelvio and Italian and Bromio. Each year on that first Saturday of September, or the last Saturday of August, the National Park smashes that like button, but otherwise it organizes the Stelvio Bike Day. 12,000 cyclists have to pass through the 75 turns, 48 of which are on one side. During World War I, this pass formed the border between the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the Italian Kingdom, 
where a lot of soldiers lost their lives. Kilar Tapangi Road via Kishdor. Steep cliffs, no guardrails, unpaved mud, and isolation. This hair-raising road is only for people who love to drive in the mountains and have nerves of steel. Open only during the summer months, this rocky, gravelly road is about 70 miles long. A six-mile stretch of it is particularly hazardous. Rocky overhangs look as if they could fall upon the roadway at any moment. The road was built hundreds of years ago by local villagers and has not been repaired over the decades. Only wide enough for one jeep at a time and having no guardrails, this dirt and gravel road is terrifyingly unstable in places. One false move by a driver could send a vehicle 2,000 feet down a vertical cliff. This road is so frightening that it's hard to watch videos of people driving over it. If your bucket list has this one on it, make sure it's your last challenge. Not sure if you're up to it? Check out this travel log about driving the Kilar to Panji Road for more photos of it and details about this harrowing route. Youngest Road Get this, to avoid falling off a cliff, the steering wheel is on the left side so the drivers could see how close the wheels were off the cliff. For the rest of the country, traffic is right-handed. So, it goes without saying that if you want to drive on this road, you should do so at your own risk. The road is only 37 miles long and connects the cities of La Paz and youngest region of Bolivia. The road attracts around 25,000 tourists annually. The major La Paz tourist attraction. Sad to say, a teen cyclist lost their lives on the youngest road since 1998. The name Road of Death seems to fit it perfectly. Kolyama Highway and Lena Highway. Extreme weather, unpaved roads, ice mud, and low visibility. Travel through Siberia is always a challenge. Nicknamed the Road of Bones, this Siberian road from Magadan never meanders its way through one of the coldest regions in the world. It is a combination of two highways, the R504 for Kolyma Highway and the A360 Lena Highway, both of which are subject to some dangers, though the R504 is better maintained. The highways are joined by the Lena River Ice Road, which is exactly what it sounds like a road across the river that is open yearly from December through April when the ice is frozen enough to drive on, or so one hopes. Sadly, dozens lose their lives each year when their vehicles fall through the ice. The preferred time to travel on the road is winter, when the ground and water are frozen, making travel somewhat easier. Though, you still have heavy snow ice and extremely low visibility to contend with, but during July and August when it tends to rain a lot, the road becomes a monstrous quagmire leading to traffic jams miles long. Only the most rugged 4x4 vehicles can manage this muddy beast. To make matters even worse, people get so bored during these traffic jams that they've been known to rob each other to pass the time. Yoliang Tunnel Road Sheer cliffs, no guardrails, extreme fog, rock falls, and mud. When the Chinese government decided it wasn't worth the trouble and expense to make a road that would be used by only 300 villagers, 13 of those villagers decided to build a 0.8-mile tunnel through the solid rock of a vertical cliff. Located in the Taihang Mountains and the province of Henan, the villagers used explosives to blow their way through this cliff. Lacking road-building experience, some villagers died in accidents. The tunnel is 15 feet high and 12 feet wide, barely wide enough for two cars. Taking five years to build, the road was open to traffic in 1977. Beware. This road is particularly dangerous when it rains. Interestingly, at least two other cliff tunnel roads have been constructed in this area of China. Dalton Highway The 414 Milo Askin Highway, which begins at Elliott Highway north of Fairbanks and ends at Dead Horse near the Arctic Ocean, runs alongside the huge Trans-Alaska Pipeline system. The highway is pretty isolated from civilization, and everyone who dares to embark on this treacherous terrain that's mostly gravel, is advised to bring survival gear with them. There are only three small towns along the road, and they're pretty far apart from each other. The traffic goes from 160 trucks daily in the summer months to around 250 trucks per day in the winter months. The road has been featured in shows like Ice Road Truckers, World's Most Dangerous Roads, and America's Toughest Jobs. Zoji La Paz, Kashmir. Extreme weather, no guardrails, steep cliffs, narrow, and unpaved. Just about any road that winds through the highest mountain range in the world would probably be at least somewhat dangerous to travel. Zoji La Paz certainly qualifies in this regard, 
since it's a dirt road with no guardrails or traffic signs and where landslides are a continual problem. Moreover, the roads zigzag among craggy peaks at over 11,000 feet at its highest elevation, connecting the towns of Srinagar and Leh and the western Himalayan mountain range in Indian-held Kashmir. Zoji La Paz passes generally closed during the winter when 50-foot snowdrifts make it impossible. Mercifully for drivers on the road, Zoji La Paz is only about 9 kilometers long. By the way, it was originally built in 1947 and first used for military purposes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a like, and we will see you in the next video.